Okay, we're back. And uh, like I said, it's a guy thing. You got to put the thin O-ring in the gland, they call it. And in the instructions, they say, you know, you can break it really easily. It's like no kidding. Okay, thin O-ring in there. That makes sense. Okay. Now, thick O-ring, about one inch down on the, uh, oh, on the shaft here. Okay, now, trying it again. Oh, ooh, oh, success. Oh, yeah, baby. It's amazing when you read those instructions, like someone actually put some time and effort into writing them. Although, I don't like to read them. Okay, now I need to go up and uh, get my plumber's chalk and put some plumber's chalk in there. Or leak. Ah. It may not leak. I'll try it without. I'm a guy after all. You know, we like to do things first. See if it leaks. And then, uh, you know, the one thing, if you're going to do your own plumbing and do the setup, you know, I was thinking about this when uh, I thought I might break the glass. Is I should have put a bypass in right here, like another valve with a, another a T with a valve going straight over to the pickup on the other side of the... Uh, on the other side of the filters in case I broke that and Moets was closed we wouldn't have water today unless I could find a well I don't have anything that would fit over that to plug it and the uh, water would just come streaming in so it's something to think about a bypass would have been a good idea now the hardest part of doing the whole thing is figuring out how to get the damn thing to stop beeping but we'll get to that, and I will have to read the instructions for that part. Now, why I have the gloves on? I'll wipe them off, make sure I don't touch them. This is the brand new $94 ultraviolet bulb, which goes in gently. It's like a, you know, this is like a, a nuclear, uh, you know, setup here. You drop it right in the old shaft there. And that's why you have that spring on the bottom. Ooh, 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 fits in there just perfect. Now there's there's only one way that this sucker goes on. I've discovered this. I've done this over four or five years in a row. If you mess up, it won't go in. Oh, come on. Oh, is that on? Hang on. Okay. We are on. You don't want to look at that bulb, but you don't want to fire it up and stare at it, you know, for half an hour. If you stare at that bulb, I think you'll go blind. I'm not sure. It's probably in the instructions, but uh, it's just not a good idea. It says somewhere danger, exposure, you won't have kids, you're probably going to lose your left leg. So now we have to go back, read the instructions, and I'll figure out how to get the thing to stop beeping. Be right back.